and welcome guys to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. I am literally opening the app on this account for the very first time since the Town Hall upgrade is finished. And now I have five days of absolute epic glory. I love, 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 love the extra boost that you get when you upgrade your Town Hall. It's fantastic. So we get the hero boost, the power boost, the resource boost, and the star bonus boost for five days. Oh, this is going to be glorious. So welcome, guys, to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play, where, guys, we've got so many big things to do. It's like completely insane. And I have um, a lot of loot from the season bank. So shout out to the season bank. Absolutely love you. Um, so today we're going to need to, uh, I'm going to do uh, obviously a couple of uh, attacks, right? I've got some crazy attacks still using the, uh, the queen charge Valkyrie dive. I haven't found anything better at this level. If you have any ideas for new attack strategies, I could try out at town hall 11. Let me know in the comments. Okay. For, for now though, <laughs> let's actually um, let's actually spend some gold, okay? Like the major gold upgrades for a new Town Hall 11. And of course, I'm gonna need to reprogram and remove around my progress base. You guys know all about the progress base. So I'll have to do that off camera. So today, let's look at the top gold upgrades. And as you can see, we've got some new defenses that are absolutely clutch. Things like, if I go into the shop and then go into the building set, I've got a Grand Warden. Oh my gosh, dudes. The Grand Warden at Town Hall 11 is just awesome. New defenses. I got a new Eagle Artillery. Oh, baby. I've got an additional Wizard Tower, an additional Archer Tower, an additional Expo, more walls, an additional cannon. It's glorious. And, of course, that beautiful Tornado Trap. Now, I know what I'm going to do with my gold starting off, and that is getting the free gold upgrades. So, for instance, the Tornado Trap. And I'm going to move it to... Uh, let's just move it to this corner, all the new stuff for now, because I haven't decided how I want my base design to, to, to look, okay? But because I'm getting the Tornado Trap, it's going to spend some loot, and it's a zero-second upgrade, so it's fantastic. So, bam, there's my Tornado Trap. Let's also get the new walls. That's another zero-second uh, set of upgrades that we can go ahead and get. So let's go ahead and let's go maybe this direction. Can you, can you do that? Yes, you can. Awesome. And I think there's only 25 of them, so... Not a problem. There you go. 25 new walls. And then there's also the 10 second cannon upgrade, which we will get now. There you go. We've spent some gold. Now, um, let's actually get any other zero second upgrades. And there's also the one minute archer tower. Might as well grab that. And now... I can get this here Grand Warden. Only a 1 uh, million elixir upgrade and it's a zero second so literally this should be like minute number one of your town hall 11 experience bam welcome grand warden and because i've got the potion the the bonus for upgrading my town hall he's level six because you get a plus five level which means i actually can use the eternal tome for the first time today oh baby that's gonna be amazing and then what else can i do is there anything else that i can do to spend some loot that won't take a long time no okay now let's hop over I, I could probably just like burn the excess loot because i need to get down below nine million so let's actually burn this excess loot and upgrade these walls several times they're worthless at this level right now nope i don't want to spend elixir i'm gonna spend gold get down below nine million and significantly below nine million that way i can actually go do some raiding okay so let's use this new warden and also hold on wait i think i might have some treasury loot. I've got lots of treasury loot and I just maxed out my gold again here. Let's just let's upgrade these again. Goodness. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's collect this treasury loot that puts me over nine million elixir. I probably shouldn't have collected that, actually. But is there anything that I can get that's elixir based? There isn't. OK, so now this, my friends, is the single most important elixir upgrade on your base. The laboratory. We're going to do that right now. It's got four days until it's over. The upgrade that's going right now is a two day and four hours remaining. It will finish while this upgrade finishes as well. And there's a kind of like a graphical glitch that you can see sometimes that will show in this uh, in this uh, the next video or whenever this laboratory upgrade finishes. So don't worry, don't panic. They will finish simultaneously. It's gonna be great. So three minute elixir laboratory upgrade. Bam. There you go. Okay, so now the loot has been spent. Let's go do a couple of raids. Let's smack some bases. Let's have some fun with it. And um, I, I know right now I've got a power potion, but it is based on your laboratory. So right now this power potion is absolutely doing nothing. Um, once the laboratory upgrade is done, 
then I will actually benefit from the power potion. So some people would immediately finish the lab upgrade. I'm not going to do that because I've got better ways to use the uh, magical items or the gems or whatever it is that you would use to finish off the lab. So let me find a base, smack it, have fun with it. And then we got a lot more upgrades and a lot more stuff to talk about. The first base that I found with decent loot, it is a dead tunnel 10, so it should be an easy triple, but you never know. So I'm not going to take things for granted. Let's just start over here. Start with this enemy queen. She's only level 33 and uh, my queen's level 45. So you know what I'm saying? This is going to be great. Um, raid spell ready, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Actually, I, I am going to need it because we're having multiple point defenses and the enemy queen. Now, you know what? Baby dragon on this barracks would be kind of cool if the queen decided to go up and took out that air defense. She may not, though. You know how she could be. Um, but we'll see. So the bomb tower going down. No, I'm sorry. What was that? Yeah, that was a bomb. Wow, two bomb towers in one spot. That was crazy. But now she's circling around. This might actually work to my advantage because, look, she's going to drag her healers around, but they're not going to be in the range of the air defense. So that works out okay. Let's drop an archer on that. Oh, never mind. Queen smart. She decided to go for it herself. Now let's put the P.E.K.K.A. Or no, let's put another baby dragon out there. I'm going to put the wall wrecker right there. Let's actually drop a couple of wizards as well, just to help the baby dragon keep focused. And okay, so King, P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to hold on to the Valkyries just for a moment. And let's put in the Warden, our first Warden. Guys, this is awesome. So once the walls break down, let's send... No, Valkyries, go into the middle. Dang it. All right, we lost a few Valkyries. They they just they just rebelled on us, which is actually okay. It's going to work out. It just wasn't ideal, okay? <laughs> I tried my best, y'all. I really did. I really tried hard. Um, so once the Queen and the Bowlers and everything got the core, let's watch and see where the Bowlers go. Okay, Raid Spell right over there and heal. Let's drop a, another Rage out here to help the Valkyries and everything kind of plow through. And you know what? Warden's ability to protect the healers because of this dang air defense that we didn't destroy before. I'm going to actually freeze that air defense and probably just keep freezing that air defense. I think that's probably the largest, like the biggest threat right now. Boulder's going to take care of it. No problem. And um, wow. Okay. That <laughs> wow. Dudes, we just completely gutted this base. Let's actually freeze. Um, and poison the Teslas, because why not, right? That's the thing that we all need to do. <laughs> Easy three-star, guys. It always works out. We had a few Valkyries go around the outside and a few to go on the inside, actually. And that's actually better than if they all went inside, because then we had some cleanup going on, which was just perfect. Everything on the inside was accessible by the queen, so all we had was that clean up the cleanup garbage on the outside that the, the, the Valkyries took care of. So completely gutted completely destroyed and we got ourselves a three star with loads of loot so that was awesome plus oh my goodness some star bonus normally i would do two attacks in a video but i've got so much loot and so much to spend it on i need to get going on that now so let's begin by looking at the new stuff that we can get the eagle artillery is by far the most important defense on your base it's because of the range it's got crazy power it's just it has the best effectivity on your base if you watch my town hall 11 upgrade guide you would see that um you can find that in the guides just the the guides playlist on my channel but yeah the eagle artillery is huge and i could afford it right now but let's look more at offense stuff before defense okay for one we want to upgrade the grand warden just get him going but let me back up i just remembered something there are bigger upgrades than heroes at the beginning of this whole thing for instance the clan castle, which used to be a gold upgrade, it is now an elixir upgrade. A bummer, but it's cool. It makes sense to me. Um, and it is a basically what you're doing. You're not increasing your troop capacity, but you're doubling your storage for your spells. So that means you can bring a raid spell or two freezes or two poisons or two earthquakes or, or whatever you want to do. A heal. Uh two lightnings. It's gorgeous. I love it. So this is probably the most important upgrade on your base, except for the lab. So let's do something like so. Let's collect the treasury. That should max me out. Perfect. Let's upgrade the clan castle. That's going to pretty much nuke my storage of elixir. That's totally cool. And there you go. Clan castle and lab are the only two builders right now that are still occupied. Now let's look at magical items. I don't have, dang it. It would have been so good if I had an elixir rune right now but i don't so let's collect the treasury again just to kind of top off my elixir i don't even have two million 
That's a bummer because there's a lot that needs to be done. For instance, the spell factory. That's definitely a day one upgrade if you can swing it, right? Um, and then number two, army camps, right? Just crazy. We got four army camps. Each one's going to increase our army composition by five. And then what else? Obviously barracks and dark barracks and stuff, but you don't really necessarily need that. You're going to be unlocking the Electro Dragon, which is great, but I've got... I don't rarely, I rarely use Electro Dragons. And then the Dark Barracks is actually a super important upgrade, the Ice Golem. That's super important. So definitely want to prioritize Dark Barracks over, and I know Electro Dragons are really good, but they're just not my favorite troop. And then um, that's pretty much it for Elixir. And then gold is his defenses. So let's actually consider doing something like so. I'm going to spend Clan Medals. And I know many people disagree with this strategy. Actually, wait a minute. I can buy a hammer of building. All right. I'm going to buy that. I'm buying the hammer of building. I'm also going to buy the hammer of heroes and the hammer of fighting. I don't need the hammer of fighting right now, clearly, because that's happening. But it's going to come in handy in the future. So let's actually use, because it's the worst thing ever to not have a spell factory. So let's use the hammer of building on the spell factory. Bam. That's going to unlock the invisibility spell. The spell factory is now maxed out. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's amazing. Now, where is the Dark Spell Factory? Is it maxed out? It is, cool. So all the spells are done. I think, okay, a lot of people would argue that maybe the lab is the best thing to spend your hammers on, but, or your books even, but you can live without the lab for a while. It's still working, actually. And same thing with the tr with the, the clan castle. It's still working. You can still request troops and stuff while this thing is running, while it's upgrading. But you can't use the spell factory if it's upgrading. So that is the best thing to use your hammer of building on is your spell factory. Bar none. So that's cool. Uh, now, let's look at the elixirs again. I can afford... Ah, I forgot about this. So you do need to upgrade your storages. That might be something I'd like to spend my elixir on. Because, at least for the next few days, I have a warden with the eternal tome ability. Or I could save my elixir, because I'm going to need it for other really important upgrades that are coming up that are a lot more expensive. The storage is not necessary right now. I don't see a reason why I need to do storages right now. What about the dark elixir storage? It's maxed out. Cool. Okay. So that, that, that helps. So let's do gold and dark elixir upgrades right now. So the number one thing is going to be the queen, right? And I could use a hammer on her. I think I may actually use a hammer on her. Yep. I'm going to use a hammer on her. Bam. Okay. So we upgrade her once. Now I can upgrade her again using the dark elixir I've got in my storage. 102,000 dark elixir, six day upgrade. Bam. Having no queen is going to make this next army really difficult to use. But next video, next time I'll have a different attack strategy that doesn't require the queen. Okay. Awesome. Um, and now we've already spent the dark elixir. We've spent the elixir. Let's spend some gold. I am going to do what I said was very, very important. I'm going to get the eagle artillery. Hold it, Klaus. What about war weight? It's no longer an issue. I mean, unless you're maxed. Like, a, unless you're a Town Hall 13 or 14, war weight's not an issue. Your eagle will hold its weight, okay? It's worth it. Get that eagle day one. That's what I'm going to do. It's 8 million gold and however many days. Let's go. Seven days. Wow, that was expensive. <laughs> that was so expensive. All right. And you know what? Let's collect the treasury once again just to kind of figure out what I'm working with. And I've got, okay, I've got a four-day upgrade, a six-day, a seven-day and a nine day. I would like to do a shorter upgrade if I can. So what else is going on with gold? Really nothing to do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, let's do this. I usually delay this. I'm not going to delay it this time. Let's get the new expo. The new expo is only a two day upgrade, which means that in two days, I will have a builder available. I won't have one until then, but at least I'll have one. And that means that all of my upgrade times are staggered. So I'm not like without a builder for a week or I have all five builders come available at the same time. Both of those are terrible scenarios. So this is a great scenario. This has worked out perfectly for me to have um, spent all my loot, occupied all my builders, 
and all the upgrade times are staggering so that it works out perfectly for me so guys that is all for day one of town hall 11 let me know what you think what would you have done differently there are things that i could have still done i have a book of heroes i could technically book my queen and then upgrade her again but i don't have the loot for that so it's no point in doing that i also have a hammer of heroes or i'm sorry hammer of fighting which i will use in my lab uh, i've got the gold rune but again i don't really need the gold rune right now uh and of course i will be designing a new base you'll see that on the channel uh i will be redesigning my progress base likely off camera because everybody's progress base looks different and um yeah but yeah let me know what you think what how you thought day one of our town hall 11 is going and what would you have done differently let me know down below in the comments thanks for watching guys hope you're looking forward to the town hall 11 let's play because i sure am and uh yeah i'll see you all next time